Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Time. My name is Miss Kaya and today we're going to be talking all about you. We're going to be talking all about us, me, you, all of us and all of our friends. We're going to be talking about what makes us so unique and so special and so awesome. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So for today, we are going to be doing a cool poem called All of Me that we can practice together with some actions. We'll practice our letters and numbers. And today I did a really cool thing. I read a story that one of my friends who's very special to me, I read a story that he wrote. He wrote the whole story by himself. And I'm going to show you me reading his story with some really cool videos to go along with it. It was really cool what I did. There won't be a science activity today, but I thought our special treat today could be this really cool video that I put together with my friend's story that he made. So let's hop into circle time. We are going to start by stretching our bodies. So remember, if you're stretching, make sure there's nothing behind you, no friends behind you, there's no furniture around you. If you go like this, you shouldn't be able to bump into anything. Are you ready to go? Okay, you can do this standing up or sitting down like me. First, let's take our arms and stretch them up over our heads to the sky. Stretching, stretching. And then I want you to take your arms and put them out like an airplane. Can you tilt like an airplane back and forth? If you're standing, it might be a little bit tricky because you have to use some balance. Nice job, friends. Okay, back hands to the sky. And we're gonna lean over to our right. Do you remember what this one was called? This is our kite. It looks just like a kite. Do you see the diamond with my arms? Awesome, we're gonna lean over to the left now. Do you see my diamond? Awesome, that's our kite. And this is a great stretch for our back. Okay, this one is our waterfall. So I'm gonna scoot up a little bit, make sure there's nothing or no one behind you. And I'm gonna put my arms up over my head and bend backwards, back, back, back. Awesome, looking back at the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Good job, remember to be gentle with yourself there. Okay, can I have all of my friends sitting on the ground? Okay, we are going to do the butterfly one now. The butterfly one, we put our feet together and they kiss. I don't have any crazy socks on today, just my bare feet, just my feet. Put them together, make them kiss, and we're gonna flop our wings up and down. Ready? Up and down, up and down. Can you go faster? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Good job, friends. Okay, let's stretch out our toes. Do you guys wanna say goodbye to our knees? Boo! Bye, knees. Okay, sitting on the ground, we're gonna touch our toes. So reach up and touch your toes. Good job. Can you touch your toes this week? Nice job, friends. Okay, we did our toe touch. I'm feeling stretched out and warmed up. Let's sit crisscross applesauce on the floor. Next, we are going to smell our cake. I know we've been doing lots of different things like cakes, cupcakes, pies, I think I did spaghetti one time. I was really wanting spaghetti. This week, I think I'm gonna go with, hmm, what should I eat? You know, it's really hot outside, and sometimes when it's hot out, I like to eat cold things. What is a cold dessert I could eat? Hmm, what about ice cream? Let's pretend we have ice cream with a candle on it. Now, you don't really hold ice cream like this, do you? You hold it like this if it's in a cone. So everyone take your hand and we'll pretend that we're holding an ice cream cone. Oh, is it starting to drip? 
Okay, we'll do our big breaths and we'll blow out the candle then so we can eat our ice cream. All right, holding our cone, we're gonna close our eyes and pretend to smell our ice cream. What flavor, hmm, what flavor are you going to go with? Okay, I think I'm gonna go with cotton candy. I love cotton candy ice cream. Okay, breathe in and smell your ice cream. And blow out your candle. Good job. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. Oh, smell the cotton candy and blow out the candle. Good job. Should we eat it? You can eat it, you can lick it. Mmm, yummy ice cream. Okay, let's see those smiles. Very nice, everyone. Okay, we've done our stretching and our breathing. Let's practice our letters and numbers. My friends have been doing a really good job at practicing their letters and numbers. We've been making our way through the alphabet and making our way through the number line. So, let's see who remembers our letters. If I show you the animal that's on the card, do you think you can guess what letter that animal starts with? Okay, let's see. Our first one is an alligator. Ah, ah, alligator, the letter A. Our next one is a bear. B, b, bear for the letter B. Our next one is Cow. Ka, ka, cow for the letter C. Next is a dog. D, d, dog for the letter D. The next one is elephant. A, a, elephant for the letter E. Next we have a frog. F, f, frog for the letter F. Then we have the animal goat. G, g, goat for the letter G. What do you think our next letter will be? Let's take a look at the animal. Horse. Ho, ho, horse. Ha, ha, ha. What letter do you think that is? H. H is for horse. Ha, ha, horse. Okay, let's put our letter of the week up there. Next, we have our numbers. Okay, friends, the first thing we have is our animals on our numbers. Let's see. One, flamingo. Two, rhinos. Three, Turtles. Good job. You can follow me at home if you'd like using your fingers. Four peacocks. Five snails. Six snakes. Seven, goldfish. Hmm, what's our next number? After seven comes the number eight. For an eight, we have spiders. And you know what's interesting about spiders? Spiders have eight legs. Eight, eight legs. Should we count the spiders together? Let's see. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spiders. Let's do our cubes and then we'll be all done our letters and numbers for the week. One red cube, one, two orange cubes, one, two, two, three yellow cubes, one, two, three, three, Four green cubes. One, two, three, four. Four. Green, green. It's matching. Five blue cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Five blue cubes. Six green cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Seven yellow cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And now we know after seven comes the number eight. Let's count eight orange cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight orange cubes. Great job. Okay, done our letters, done our numbers, done our stretching. Let's do our poem. This is an action song and I will show you the actions and you can do them at home with me. This poem is called All of Me and it goes like this. My hands are for clapping. My arms can reach high. My fingers can snap or turn out the light. My legs are for jumping. My eyes help me see. This is my body and I love all of me. Okay, did you see the actions there? The snapping one might be a little tricky. Sometimes I can't even do it. That's cool. If you can do it, that's awesome. If not, no worries. The more you practice, maybe you'll be able to do it one day. It's actually kind of tricky to do. If you can't snap, that's okay. You can just go like this and put your thumb and your fingers together like that. And it also makes a little bit of a sound. Okay, should we do our poem again with our actions? Okay, let's do it. It's called All of Me. I'm going to put my pointer down so I can do my actions with my friends. My hands are for clapping. My arms can reach high. My fingers can snap or turn out the light. My legs are for jumping. My eyes help me see. This is my body, and I love all of me. Good job, friends. Okay, remember earlier I said we had a really special story that my friend wrote? My friend Machias wrote a really awesome story that I want all of my friends to hear. And I read his story with some videos in it that goes along with it. It's not quite like a book. So I kind of made my own book using Machias' story. Maybe you can write your own story. So I'm gonna show my friends this story and then we'll come back and we'll do our goodbye song, okay? So sit tight and I'll show you my story. I hope you enjoy it and I know Machias wrote this for all of my wonderful friends. Okay, here we go. Nobody is like you. My favorite color is green but perhaps yours is blue. My favorite animal is the panda. You might prefer the kangaroo. I like to swim across the lake. You might suggest a canoe. I love to eat a slice of cake, but you would rather a stew. 
Don't you feel a stomach ache when you bite more than you can chew? I might run away from snakes. When you see one, you say, Yahoo! When I get home, I love to bathe. You run away from the shampoo. I love to draw with colored pencils. You might select the glitter glue. I think it's clear where I am going, but we have time for a review. Nobody is like me. I love to drink a cup of coffee. You might prefer a sip of tea. I love to travel to the mountains. You take vacations on the sea. I might think that math is hard. For you, it's as simple as one, two, three. I might take a drive and think it's boring. You take a ride and say, whoopee. I might like to stay at home, but you would rather climb a tree. For now, one thing should be clear, as I'm sure you will agree. It makes me smile from cheek to cheek that everybody is so unique. Welcome back, friends. Did you enjoy the story? Wasn't it so nice? I think Machias did a really, really great job writing that story. And I helped him put that story to life using some videos. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. And we will see you next time on Circle Time. Should we do our goodbye song? Okay, here we go. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, goldfish. Bye-bye, butterfly. Be sweet, parakeet. See you soon, raccoon. One more time. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, goldfish. Bye-bye, butterfly. Be sweet, parakeet. See you soon, raccoon. Bye, friends. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.